So we're switching our focus now to cricket on the Sports Max Zone. 99 delegates will assemble at the Jamaica Conference Centre in Kingston on Thursday to determine who will carry Jamaica's cricket forward for the next three years. Incumbent Wilfred Billy Heaven, who was elected unopposed last time around, will have to stave off the challenge from his first vice president, Dr. Donovan Bennett. Despite the challenge, Heaven believes his administration's performance over the last 10 years is worthy of re-election, even with critics slamming his approach to what has been interpreted as government's lack of support for cricket in the country. Heaven has signaled, however, that if re-elected, his focus is on cricket development in Jamaica, with the introduction of an under-23 tournament to bridge the gap between youth and senior levels. Dr. Bennett, on the other hand, envisions unity in cricket in the fraternity, promising transparency and dialogue with stakeholders in the decision-making process. Joining us to analyze the chances of both candidates is local commentator Kerry Scott. Kerry, you haven't appeared on the Sports Max Zone for some time now. We are happy to have you back on. Can I start directly by asking you who is favorite for this election? <laughs> well, the last time I spoke to um, a certain pollster, um, he has always said to me that, well, you know, when, you, when, you, when you're going on, going public to pretty much give some indication as it relates to who the favorite looks like, um, one of the things you must bear in mind um, is that you don't have a crystal ball and you don't know who the people will vote for on the day. But if I were to um, look at what has been said on the ground, based on the canvassing, I believe Dr. Bennett stands a very good chance, strong chance of winning in the elections tomorrow. Yeah, Kerry, about four or five months ago, I saw Billy Heaven on local television and he appeared very dismissive of uh, Dr. Bennett's challenge and appeared really, really confident. But I get the impression and... Uh, supported by your narrative, that he recognizes now that he's in a fight. Yeah, absolutely. Look, I mean, there's no doubt about it. Dr. Bennett has been a, 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 uh, one of those cricket administrators who has been, you know, on the ground from school board cricket. We're talking about somebody coming in cricket from in the, from in the 80s, maybe 70s, um, where he was one of the main pillars behind the Stets dynasty and the St. Elizabeth cricket. Which has produced um, so several West Indies cricketers. Several Jamaican West Indies cricketers and so on. And they continue to churn out quality players from out of St. Elizabeth and so on. So, I mean, Dr. Bennett is well known, um, you know, in the cricket landscape. And um, most persons who know, who know Dr. Bennett will, will, will tell you that Dr. Bennett um, is about cricket. So there's no doubt about, um, you know, his pedigree, caliber, candidate he is. And I think that, um, you know, the, the, what we'll see tomorrow is whether the, 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 the cricketing landscape in Jamaica is prepared to give Dr. Bennett the reins to manage cricket yeah. for the foreseeable future. So, so Kerry, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing you, and you are suggesting that the fact that Dr. Bennett is so steeped in Jamaica's cricket history, unlike Billy Heaven, that is a, that is a plus for him going into these elections? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's always a plus because, you see, typically how people vote in Jamaica is we vote for people who we know, we vote for people who we have some kind of affinity with. Um, we vote for people who we believe, you know, will be in the trenches with us. That's how people on the ground look, look at things. And I think that Dr. Bennett has really and truly been one of those persons. And now, very critically, Dr. Bennett has been a very, a very, um, a very strong advocate for Bill Evans over the years. Um, we saw maybe a couple elections ago when Billy Heaven um, ran against Fritz Harris, who is, interestingly, Dr. Bennett's um, running mate, the first VP. We saw where, you know, Billy Heaven narrowly um, got past Fritz Harris at that time. And it was largely because of some, some work that Dr. Bennett would have done, um, um, you know, in favor of Billy Heaven at that time. And everybody... Everybody who is in the cricket circles know that, you know, that was one of the elections that, you know, Dr. Bennett played a very significant role in ensuring that Billy was retained. Yeah, the only concern I have, Kerry, is the fact that Dr. Bennett comes from, of course, um, Billy Heaven's team. In other words, when we were discussing the Jamaica elections here for the football, 
um, the JFF elections, one of the things I tend to say is that what will be the difference though? Because if you come from a team and now you're going up against the president, doesn't it mean that you belonging to the team, you have the same values, you believe the same things, you were moving in the same direction? So how do you feel about this? So, I mean, interestingly, I hear you and I've always heard that narrative, you know, about, um, you know, persons who were on your team and, and so on. So let us look at um, vision. So remember, when you're the person who is leading the charge, uh, it, it is really and truly your vision that 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 um, me, the vice president, and others is really your vision that we are that we are supporting. But We're you'd supporting have to agree vision. with it, right? You'd have to agree. Yeah, no, with... absolutely, absolutely. So you you would have agreed with the vision at the time. However, at some point in time, when you realize that, okay, we can no longer find Congress, um, it, it may be time for us to to make a shift. And I suspect in this in this case. I believe Dr. Bennett has a has a different has a different thought process as it relates to where he wants to see cricket go, how he believes cricket should be should be um, should be grown from grassroots up, and, uh, uh, and Billy Billy Heaven may have a different approach. And I think you know sometimes when you no longer have, as I said before, congruence, then you know you you have to kind of go your separate ways, share your vision with other people to determine whether they, they will buy into what you believe is now the new strategy, the new way forward. And I think that is one of the things that um, I have observed in this particular scenario, um, based on what both candidates have said or have been saying out in the public, it is clear that there is a difference as it relates to the pathway. Billy Heaven has been president for 10 years. Your assessment. 11. Going this year, 11. Right. Going into 11 years. Your assessment of the work that he has done with his leadership. So nobody can deny the, the, the kind of work that Billy Heaven has done in terms of bringing structure to the JCA, um, especially as it relates to the financial aspects of the JCA. The Billy Heaven took over the JCA at a time when the JCA required some strong leadership. It required somebody who had the kind of um, who had the kind of expertise to, to, to you know, strengthen the governance framework um, to ensure that, from a financial perspective, that the organization was 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 financially sound, and you know you, you can use that platform to grow. No, I think that he has done an excellent job where that is concerned. And while you know while on that journey, things have happened. Good things have happened to cricket. Bad things have happened to cricket. Still keep happening to cricket. But you know, I think he has done well, and I think he has he has he has served the purpose that he came in to serve. He has done ten years, ten tough years, but he has put the JC on a platform that it can now look to chart a new course. I'm not sure though, and and I believe based on what I'm hearing on the ground, I don't believe that um, the people on the ground believe that Billy Heaven can take them past yeah. um, where they currently are. And with that being said, are we expecting a close election or do you think the numbers are going to be um, distinctly apart? It's going to be distinctly apart. I think the numbers are the numbers will tell Jamaica, um, you know, where the delegates are, where the, where the delegates sit. They pretty much will tell Jamaica exactly what is in the mind of the delegates. I don't think we will see um, any a, a close election. I don't think we'll see an election like what we saw when Billy Heaven ran against Chris Harris or even Mark Nita. I think it will be a a, 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 a little bit, uh, you know, a little wider margin than what we have, we would have experienced before. Yeah, um, Kerry, you just pointed to the structure that Billy Heaven brought brought to the Jamaica Cricket Association, but um, in the past few years there were some really poor results from the performance of Jamaican cricket teams, the women's teams, the age group teams on the 15, on the 17, on the 19, and the, and the senior team as well. But um, coincidentally, um, the under-19s did the double last summer, the boys on the 19 three-day and the Super 50 as well, and the girls won the T20 Blaze and the Super 50 in March. So he, in the past six or seven months, he has, he has gotten some results that look really attractive and... Uh, represent a kind of a turnaround from what we had been seeing 
in the last four or five years? Yeah, absolutely. But let's break it down um, yes. if, if, if we want to. So what, what has been playing in Jamaica's cricket is at two different ends of the spectrum. Uh, under 15s, that's your grassroots. It's, it's, it's really not terribly shame. Uh, and then you have the senior team that there's there's very little uh, that success that we would have gotten um, outside of the Super 50. But in terms of the four-day uh, tournament, we continue to struggle there. Again, in the Super 50 last, the last outing, we also struggled there. So what you realize, there is in the middle, on the 17s, um, female cricket, and also on the 19s, what you realize is that we've, we've been able to... Um, compete and compete well. I think that it is more to do with the kind of work that is happening in some of these clubs and Paris associations than the kind of programs that that that, that are that are established that are established at the JCA. Mm -hmm. Because typically what happens is uh, the JCA would have the, when a youth team is, is to be selected, the JCA will say, okay fine, um, we're gonna select 40 boys and you're gonna play some 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 practice games and a series of practice games, maybe three, four practice games, then they cut it down to maybe 20, 20 28 or so, or, or maybe a little lower than that, 25, 26. And then they play another couple of games, and then they cut it down to 18. The coaches have maybe a month um, to work with the team, and then the teams go off, teams come back, however they perform, they perform, they come back. After they come back, there's nothing else that happens. So, 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 I, so, but these boys end up going back into the clubs and parts associations um, to play for their clubs and parts associations and play a cup and all these things. So, what you find is it's really the clubs and parts associations who are who are doing the kind of heavy lifting with these boys. But because the clubs and parts associations don't have like a junior cup or minor cup for the ones who are over fifteen coming up, you know, under fifteen coming up what you find is that there is a little bit of gap in terms of how those yeah. youngsters um, can count the curve, yes. you know, um, naturally. Yeah. So, yeah, as I said, I mean, just playing some practice games yeah. isn't sufficient yeah. for me to say that there is any significant um, development work that is going on. Yeah. I, we're going to leave it here, Kerry, but I just want one thing to be put on the table before you leave. Is it true that there was... Uh, a thinking from from President Billy Heaven some years ago that he would not go back for the election and changed his mind because I did hear that at some point that he was yeah, saying I, I, that I, he would he would leave but he 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 changed his mind after that. Yeah, I believe so. I believe I believe it is it is it is well established and known that he would have um, you know communicated that kind of approach. Yeah. Uh, uh, but look, in life, <laughs> people are always. Um, people are always um, um, able to change their mind yes. whenever they feel like that. Yeah. Um, yes. You know, okay. if somebody believes that they want to change their mind in the mid midstream, then yeah. that's, that's, that's their call. Okay, Kerry, great talking to you here as we look ahead to the JCA elections coming up on Thursday at the Jamaica Conference Center in Kingston. It's Billy Heaven, the incumbent, um, uh, standing up against his vice president, Dr. Uh, Bennett. And uh, we'll see how that one goes. Uh, thanks, 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 Kerry. And uh, right. we'll be back Welcome. with more on the Sports right. Night Zone after this.